Bo 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 bo. At the recent Golden Globes, all your favorite celebs were looking pretty, but one thing definitely stood out from the rest: the bows. Elle Fanning and Amanda Seyfried both rocked an extra large bow to full accent on their gowns, and Kristen Wiig even had two, one for each uh, side of her bodice. While the bow trend has been all over runways over the past couple years, it really has itself an ancient history. Bows started in hair, dating back to at least around 2500 BC and ancient Mesopotamia. You can actually go and see these ribbons made from real gold for yourself at the Met. But true ribbons as we know them today didn't come around until about the 16th century, when looks like the Lovelock hairstyle came into fashion. And soon everyone was getting in on the bow action, with both men and women. The bow tie, for instance, a classic staple that owes its place in modern fashion to Pierre Lorlard, the father of the modern tuxedo. For ladies, the parfait contentement, or perfect contentment, was a popular choice, where the bow was placed at the top of the bodice near the collar, much like we're seeing today on runways and red carpets. You know who'd love this trend? 